Hello everyone to another video, I'm Demon Hunter and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to create this awesome and really unique underground lake base. So grab your notes and let's get started. So, using the cobblestone and underside blocks, we're creating a circle. On the bottom left screen, you see a diagram where the block should be. After that, you simply take a cobblestone slab and cobble underside slab and randomly place around the circle. After we finish that, to simply take a stone block and just again randomly, uh, a randomly place near the slabs. After that, you need to dig uh, everywhere inside a circle, dig 9 blocks below. While we're still digging, next what we want to dig is uh, 4 holes uh, on the this bigger surface. So leave 3 blocks from the cobblestone and underside, so 1, 2, 3, and then you want to create a square, I mean you want to dig a square, uh, 7 block inside, so this is the one layer, and make sure you dig 7 block, and do that for exactly these 4 sides. And there we go. Now this next step is optional. It is where you want to do or leave it like this or you want to do like me. So I'm gonna destroy two blocks uh, of dirt and just adding a grave gravel so it will be more natural look for the lake. It, again as I said is optional so if you want to do it then you need probably a lot of gravel but if not then leave it like uh, it is so live the dirt. Next step is take a glass, go on a second block where the gravel is or leave two blocks and fill it up all circle just leave one block in a midpoint now probably you are asking me how can if I'm in survival how will I get up well you could like build build a hole here and leave the ladder and after the end of the base you can just fill it up if you're creative just of course you're gonna fly out so Fill it up all circle and leave the midpoint. Now we're gonna create the four pillars in the middle. We're gonna representing a holding a glass. So basically create a simple square, leave a three blocks of empty space. Then you just connect them to the bottom. And we're gonna decorate 
we're gonna decorate them and of course we're gonna make a, in the middle we're gonna make a small uh, pool where the water from the lake is gonna drop. So I'm gonna create a small pond or a pool where you're gonna drop and when the water gonna drop also from the lake. So first fill it up around the pillars upstairs but toward inside we're gonna put the slabs. Then we're gonna cut a simple hole and this is gonna be a stairs or entrance and then just fill it up with a we just spruce planks, fill it up everything inside here. Now you can add the water to the lake and this and that is what we're gonna do next. So now we're gonna take our side and just adding uh, water to the lake. Now we wanna make a pillars for the entrance. So what we create here, we're gonna create on each side. So to do entrance, we're gonna destroy the corner blocks, leave just one dirt, and then fill it up with oak wood. After that, take a spruce stairs, and on the second block from the top, place it. Then you're gonna place the two spruce planks like this and connect them with the spruce slabs. Again, you're gonna take a spruce stairs and just simply put down towards the outside and towards the inside. And now just repeat the process on each side. Now take a spruce uh, stairs and just one block below the glass, fill it up and create an outline around the circle. Now we're gonna create uh, walls that is around the circle. So what you need is the oak wood, spruce slab, and stripped oak wood. Now, first you wanna destroy, uh, you wanna place an oak wood uh, on the bottom block. Then you wanna destroy all these blocks here. So destroy the blocks where the oak wood is towards the top. Then, what you want to do is fill it up here with the spruce slabs. And after that, again, you need to destroy every block uh, of this stone, whatever the ground will be, and place a uh, dark, uh, place a serpent oak wood. Why? Because we want a depth, so we don't want to straight, you know, to, you know, we don't want to like this flat wall. We want to make a one block uh, towards the terrain so we have a nice depth of one block and it will look uh, a lot better it will look more 3d and it will have a lot better shape than we just uh, place uh, a strip of wood on oak wood it won't be that good Now after we create all here, we just 
gonna repeat this process on each side. Now we're gonna create walls and a ceiling for the rooms. So again, just repeat the same process and the walls on the circle, uh, the down block place or wood or, or oak, oak log, depends what you use. Uh, then we need to cut all of these. After that, place in corners again oak, wood, or oak log. After that, you can see where the strip door is gonna be. Again, we need to cut. I mean, there is a lot of digging here, but what you expect when you build an underground base is to dig a lot. So, there you go, guys, just fill it up like this. After that, take a spruce stairs and just cover the top blocks of the stripped oak wood. And you can also build the stairs to here. After that, take a spruce slabs, fill it up here and here. After that, what you want to do is cut uh, one block you will have a mid block and place a lantern then place around the oak look like this and just again fill it up after we finish all four uh, rooms now it's time to create a floor so take spruce planks and just simply make a one outline block uh, around the whole area so around the rooms and around the circle Now, after we finish that, all you want to do is take oak planks and just fill it up entire area covered with stone. Now, before we go to the rooms and decorate them, we need to decorate a little bit, adding touching details to these circles. So, first you could take a spruce slabs and just place it on the uh, oak wood. Then, uh, we could take uh, oak trapdoors and on the, let's say, third block we could place all around the pillars. Then we could do a composter and place in the corners near the pillars and just place randomly uh, oak leaves and spruce leaves on them two or three blocks so it will represent a big pot with a flower or some kind of plant. And at the end, very end we're just gonna simply take a banners and place green, Play, you can place purple, light grey and red are gonna represent uh, each room so green will be farm, 
purple gonna be an enchantment room, this is gonna be blacksmith room and a room or bedroom where you're gonna sleep and storage your inventory. Now let's start with the rooms. So this is a room for the farm farmland or where you're grow gonna grow your vegetables. So in the middle just simple place water and fill it around with a farmland till you don't reach to the spruce uh, planks then place whatever you wish to I'm gonna place a potato something just bugged I think I can't place it I hope you guys could then after that we're gonna take a composter and place two here for creating a bone wheels. Then place two small smokers in the corners and two furnaces in the corners where you can bake your potatoes. Then place two chests like this and place two two uh, barrels here and we can just few, place few far, flower pots for the simple decoration and we finish our oh something strange happening so we finish our farmland and just something strange happened okay now it's time for enchantment room but before that i just realized i ran out of the night vision effect and i somehow can't place uh, potatoes here so i just replace with the grass now for the enchantment room just adding a random bookshelves in the corners and lift it up so just run place them in these two corners like this then after that place a enchantment table in the middle cover up with a smooth stone slab and then place a lantern we could do a simple table and I mean table using of course this block and placing a dark oak stairs for a chair then what we could do next is adding a few um, few like shelves and place we could place a pots on them and we can place some kind of some kind of plants inside of them now you decide do you want uh, do you want a flower or a sapling I always prefer some kind of sapling here I just love how they look inside of pots and there you go you have a nice enchanting room of course you can also add a book and cool to the lantern just to look more better now it's time for a blacksmith room so go and place blast burns here in the middle and you can place uh, underside slabs like this, place one upside down, one here and we can place one more upside down, we can even connect one here. So uh, after that you can place a crafting table in the corners, then in the middle here and here destroy the place upside down underside uh, stair and on the tops we could put a green stone and a stone cutter. In the middle of the room, place of course an anvil and just place two upside down stairs to like create a table or something like that. Work working table. We can place a smithing tables uh, inside of these corners to fill it up the space, and just we could place a random item frames on this um, on this walls, and we could of course place a few items like this maybe you can put even there if you want but yeah this is the simple blacksmith room and you have everything what you need there and now it's time for a bedroom the last room so simple place the two beds like this and then place three spruce logs then after that take a uh, stairs and place them like this 
again we can place locks like this and then just simply up close with the upside down stairs and place one more stairs like this then we could do chest on uh, like shelves we could do cartography table here and close to hide the, the beds with the slabs and we could place two slabs here and place uh, pots just need to change the slabs then we can do one more different sapling here we can do pictures hmm. I don't prefer this big picture so I like it um, we can do these two by two pictures yeah, like this um, we could do else is maybe place and go armor stands and place few things on on it so like this you can do two armor stands where you could put your stuff and your gear and there you go you have your bedroom you don't need more than that maybe you just could add a small carpet to it maybe like this and that is it you have your bedroom at the end the hugo one of my team members are helping me creating a vegetation around the house or around the lake and as you can see we are adding few trees few rocks bushes flowers use whatever you want you can use even uh, creating rocks using a slabs uh, then we add a little bit like a little pots uh, on the lake fill up with the fishes turtles and using the glass and stained glass and the pickles we creating again some kind of plants on the lake so it looks more natural And there you go guys, we create a really awesome and really unique a lake base. We add a little bit more features. We add fishes and turtles to look, it looks like more natural. So guys, if you uh, like this video and if this video help you in any way and if you wanna continue from us to create really unique bases, please leave a like, share the video and subscribe to our channel it will mean a lot to us and see you next video peace